It's good. You got my instructions in the back, gentlemen. Protect yourselves at all times. Listen to my commands. Touch them up. Back to your corner, gentlemen. As a pro, Tim, what do you expect from the arm? A very good start in the beginning, and I believe that this fight kind has a good jab. As you see, he's jabbed right away. As I alluded to, it'll be a jabbing battle first half of this round. Both guys in a rhythm. But again, later in the fight, once Bonds can pay good dividends, I believe. Look at nice staff jab. Props move in his tracks with that stick. Immediately going downstairs. There's another with the Canadian counter the jab. You know, so anticipated. Possible in terms of how quick they did. Previously, it was Mugia yeah. as an opposing fighter. You hope to shut him up. <laughs> That's, it's like, oh, dang, say whatever you want to say. However, real quick, by landing my offense. Now, Bazignan has two do damage against me, the uppercut, and that's the shot that Canelo drops him with in the fourth right hand as well. The overhand yeah, right. Yeah, Mugia hit the right hand. There like he that. Been pulled out of range and dropped that lead. That lead extremely smart in there, man. He's doing Nice combination. Once away jab sometimes that sets up the right, and you see the Mugia. What did I tell you early on? Oh, that was that's a, a nice right. shot him. there. He heard him with that. Mugia, five seconds here left and right. You know what I love about Mungia? He's a rip. He feels like he's losing the round. You know he's going to come out. Blake. And that was the most effective. Mungia lands a shot. Nice little left hook in there. Might not first round because it was solid as a left hook. And now you see a left hook. right there. He caught him at that punch. Both men respecting each other at the end of the day. And Mark Ramsey was adamant. Absolutely. And lost his first fight and rattled off 109 that gives amateur victories, did Bazignan. That's a comparison stop, stop, stop. Of from referee Thomas Taylor. Nice jab once again from Bazignan. That's going to be bread and butter. That's how he's going to eat tonight, and that's how he can win them. That jab weapon you have to the target. The more you use it, it's going to set either inside slips or outside. See the level, you see the level change. He's trying to attempt. He's trying to load that front leg. Likes that left hook. You see that right hand. Look for that left hook to land. Huh? Yeah, take it. Absolutely. <laughs> saw what you see. Round two. Bazignan, main event. Fourth, that same night. By a different sanctioning body, W. Mugia at number two, number two in the WBO. Both. A nice jab from Bazignan. Using Mugia lands a jab of his own, setting up a body. Starting to pick up the tempo now. Eventually cut that distance. I mean, still third. It's a 12 round fight. He has experience. Turn it up, turn it on. Nice look. Nice. You mentioned Tim, it's starting to slip, and that's what Mugia is looking for. Get around that guard. Yeah, he is, but but I like the head moving, the looseness of his shoulders. Eventually, he's going to have to come off that, rotating his shoulder. He's going to have to come off of that, disguise that right hand or foot. Bozzini on the fight plan, throwing numbers earlier. Yeah, sticking with the jab and trying to go there. Oh, yeah, that. Nello Alvarez, so very, like, they know what they're up against, technical level. All right, I just need to get it off my chest. I mean, I love I love stop, the stop, jab stop, coming stop, from Bazian. Yeah, much as some are being crazy blows and being blocked. However, you need to really snapping his head back, kind of keeping him at bay a bit. Come behind that jab with something. Bazian, as mentioned by Reformation. There's a nice counter. It's hurt, but he was bit off, knocked off balance. With like All right, and I think that Bazian is doing well again in what Mungi will fight. That will suit him better. And that right counter and making Mugia know you're going to eat some. And he's stepping in now. Power jab. Kriegel, Kriegel who spoke with Don's corner. Ramsey's happy with what Bazignan. Mugia puts his head right in that hole. And he's right there for an uppercut for a right hand. Or four. Yeah, Mugia's head movement. Dipping underneath a lot of those shots off. He, to gain control. To kind of take what Bazignan is something else that he's able to connect on Jaime Munguia. He hasn't committed to those power shots as of yet, Tim, and his jab is really effective. You know what I just, is that he's not throwing them right from the shoulders, you know, after him with his shots. He just shoots them right from the shoulders. Nice body. Munguia, it, what you're saying is he's staying with this. Yes. He's not letting the moment get to him. He's not letting, allowing Munguia to bring him into a firefight. That distance. Nice hook right there on the inside. Numbers together. Nice straight right from. Look, I just want to just, I just, he works, he works, and just watch how he resets, bouncing up and down like that. You know who talk, taught me about that? It was Bernard Hopkins. He said, Tito disrupt him, had to re. 
you know, but he told, he said, hey, he knows how to maintain his distance, really what to do. Come behind that double jab, then tripling that jab to close the distance. One, you gotta let those hands go. You can't allow him to tie you like glue. All right, nice. Mark. And uh, more than anything, it's his scorecard right now through four. Seven, Eric Bazignan. Jaime Munguia is stronger, he's more powerful, he's a better athlete. It's off, you can see that the boxer right now. Bazignan, he's using the jab, but more shots, man. Uh, <laughs> you're coming to a place that's friendly to Nice right hand. hand. You got to make sure that there's no doubt. Back to Canada saying, oh, what a nice straight right. He chops down on Munguia. He'd be more elusive by moving his head side to side, but yeah. Oh, uppercut up the middle by Bob Young. And he's burying his punches now, Tim. Yes. Get oh, nice bury that. From contribute to his work in the gym. When you're in there with Archer Better Bia, with Christian and Billy, right, with go, Oslace Eric, Iglesias Eric, doing high-level sparring. Fear, he doesn't fear Mungia. It doesn't, it doesn't look that way. From what Again, picking up his feet, changing. And Tim, we talk about boxing. There's ways to use what Young is doing. Nice combination of confidence right now. Munguia is going to have to do something to take us away. He's going to have to land something. It has to, he has to go downstairs and slow down those legs. What do you think of him telling Eric oh, Morales nice. I'm feeling a little, huh? That's not a good thing. Me. Got to loosen up over the next. Are they appreciative of the come forward action that we're providing or the excellent tactical and technical work of Bazinian behind that jab? And there you see the, there it is again, that left. As the power punches like 20. Turn through Bazian. He likes he likes his space. When you crowd his space, you, you see he Yeah. There's a nice rubber hand right. The Bazinian jab of non-existent through the first minute of this round. Nice combination. Good hit there from Mungia. And the Again, no, oh, double body shot right there. Again, Mungia, he needs to be close, near the pocket, to be able to land those body shots. And now Bazignan is, he's biting on the face. And again, he likes his space. He's a counter puncher. He's not going to gas out. He's unsure. With uh, better be than him. Nice one, two, follows it up with a three. And this is where Mungia, when you start having trouble, fighter out of Tijuana. Nice uppercut, two. Dips to the bottom. Up with them to stop the action. <laughs> liver shots are, are, are gonna make a Mungia already slowing down Bazignan. You see that sets up shots over the top with the yep. right hand. He's with a high guard. Is standing up already. The legend commenting for Tebe. Getting excited. This match has now become a fight. Doja's gonna heat up. Yeah, got a little. And it's working. Super in Glendale, Arizona, round seven of a scheduled Tardo Osuna, the Hall of Famer Tim Bradley, live on ESPN. Glad you decided to spend part of your evening with us. His weakness in the last round, now he's trumping Mungia outside. Bazignan, Mungia, 34 knockouts and 43 fights, and right now, the man with his offense, you know, commentary, Ooh, nice to protect percentage of winning rounds. He's built his stamina up extremely. I was with Freddie Roach at the wild card gym before the Canelo mm. fight instead of in Big Bear. Nice. Mungia affected me in the Canelo fight. I didn't have the same. Oh, oh nice combo. Right hook, hurt. left hook. Bazignan back against the ropes. A minute and 20 seconds left here in round number seven. A long time for the Mexican fighter out of Tijuana to put in work. Good recovery from Bazignan. Tip top shape. Big shot right there. Got the crowd on their feet, Tim. You see Mungia now trying to recharge. He feels that Bazian has recovered. He thought oh. we going to take a chance. Nice Bazian. Bazian is saying he here to fight. Tempting to land something big on Mungia. Salvo of punches. Oh, don't worry. He's going to come Ooh. back. Oh, Bazian woke up after those shot hurt him. And now he's... I mean, Mungia back in Big Bear for this fight. Great shot, but great, even greater Bazian. Nice not the counter left. from Bazignan. Now another left hook from Jaime Munguia. Not going to steal this round from you. <laughs> He's out here. Finally, that's, that was snapped on Tuesday, but the action is here inside the ring with Jaime Munguia and Eric Bazignan in round. Both ranked number two by different sanctioning bodies. Munguia Nalo.
But the dream is another title fight. Yeah, looking to set up that left hook. He used that stab jab just a minute ago. That last round. Whoa, oh. good right. That's all he did. He didn't do anything special. Loudon will get a walk into it. Nice body work. Maybe alone in the ring. Yeah, but oh, nice. he shot the jab about. out there. He shot changing the pace. You yes. can't become predictable. That's nice. But where if he doesn't win this fight go back, and he's gonna be a little disappointed. Ooh, good right hand. And there, Sinyan uses his legs to get out. You have to go down to that. Oh, body. nice left right combination. Oh. Finishes up with a third left hand. Munguia is gaining more and the rounds go on. Team on those punches is different, but he's still letting them go though. But you go down to that body, you're gonna take some. Oh, he on tonight. His resolve, his boxing yes, skill. Yes. But, <clears throat> but you have Mark Ramsey Jim. Yeah. He got killers in there. That's Absolutely. all he got. And he's letting Munguia back. I don't know many guys that could with really extraordinary. This is a great fight. Nice. Made the mistake. Made the mistake. The odds minus a thousand. Six through eight rounds. Never been past ten, so a crucial moment if we get to that point in the fight. It does he lands on the body of Heim Munguia now is moving, he's moving back. This a layoff round for Ooh, Munguia. He's looking to catch his second win and the thing that wind for the oh. fight. Oh. Yeah, those exchanges are dangerous, man. Throwing right hands at the same time. It's a lot good. of knockouts occur in mid-range with right hands. Men exchanging right hands. Yeah, as Bazignan landed a jab of his own. There's a body work from the first warning for Straight right, Jaime Munguia. Will he try to steal around? Yeah, he's trying to. And this fight is competitive. Now Bazignan has something behind it. There's a nice right hand. Digging to the body is Jaime Munguia. The instructions were given by the right, legendary right, fighter who gave us that trilogy again. Barrera, a historic one. The first Mexican to beat Pacquiao as well. That man talks, you listen, and that's exactly what Munguia is doing here in round 10. The key has always been close the distance. Close the distance. Yes, he has to safely because Bazian must has to be respected. He got it. However, he gets here. Wait, yes, sir. Nice jab. Bazian had success. I'm going to set up a lateral G, pick up his feet, have Mungia follow him, and then coming in. Sports Center coming up immediately. All right, got to get those a little bit. Nice uh, combination nice. from Mungia. No, Bazian had that in him. You can being more aggressive this round, listening to his. Oh, nice. Ooh. And underneath, putting off left hook. And then that's a nice right left. He did the upstairs, same, downstairs. The same Here comes exact the combination thing. from Jaime Munguia. He's got Bazignan hey, on a defensive blood. And when Shark smells blood, Ooh. he goes in. Although that's a nice counter right from Bazignan. Bazignan right now, biting down. Got a little space, and now he's coming. Oh, oh what a left hook. Bazignan is on his feet as Jaime Munguia sees that. And he goes after him with 40 seconds left here in the 10th round. Left uppercut. Now he's cut. And he's done. The fight is over. The fight of Gia has done it. He's on the turn. I'm a Moon Gia. 44 victory.